Everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth. Welcome back to the Rain Cloud server. Now, something kind of crazy happened yesterday. There's this little channel that y'all may or may not have heard of. Just gonna switch around here. Somebody called Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> oh man, for any of y'all that know who he is or watch Hermitcraft, you know that the past couple of days have been absolutely just like sky high just crazy oh my gosh like words can't describe what the past day or so has been like um mr mumbo he made a little video showing or showcasing like small talents that are on youtube just smaller channels and whatnot and i got to be one of those people that were showcased and so far i mean as to the point that I'm recording this video it's only been about 20 hours and I think I went from like 190 something subs to over 2,000 it has been ridiculous I mean it's been crazy and here we are a couple episodes ago I was able to look at this from way up there on the iron farm that I'm building or not I haven't built the iron farm all the little decorations I'm doing to it which by the way I really need to get to doing something to it oh what is that oh that's a torch right up in there okay so anyway this area i found out is a spawn pad this is like if you were to join the server the first place you would end up would be right here and i don't have a bed with me and the bad old sun's going down you're going down son and there's something over there oh man uh-oh <laughs> I was told that there was something pretty in spawn. Zombie had put, quote unquote, a bunch of flowers everywhere. Oh, I've got a bed up there. So I'll explain what this little spawn pet is while I'm running up there. And I'm going to do my best to not look over there and spoil it. But anyway, if you were to first join the server, that spawn pad is where you would first start. And I found this out because a couple of days ago, we added a new member to the server. Evil Mech Maru. It's a uh, friend of Kiri's. She does cosplay, and uh, her and Kiri are actually friends in real life. And, oh man, that almost made me think of a blood moon. I've been playing modded Minecraft recently, here with on a, a new server we started called Stormcraft. Not Stormcraft. Stormcraft? Stormcloud. Stormcloud. <laughs> oh man. Um, and... You get these crazy things called blood moons that come out and mobs are everywhere and you can't sleep the night away. So, let's see. I'm just going to end a pearl down from here. Maybe I can make this. Can he do it? I was told I need to look at this from my tent area. So, whoop. Let's see what that does. Can he do it? Oh, almost. Oh, well. Okay, so I'll walk up here. So anyway, we have it, We added Evil Mech Maru, and we took her on a tour, and um, I forgot to hit record. I couldn't believe it. I had recorded some footage, and Scar had timed out, so we kind of waited a little bit for him to come back, and I totally forgot to hit record again. So I didn't get a chance to film her, uh, her getting to join the server. So that kind of stinks. But some of the other members of uh, Rain Cloud, they were able to film it. So y'all go check that out. But anyway, I was told to see this from a high. So y'all ready? We're going to see this together. It's a one, two, three. <gasps> oh my gosh. Congrats, Piggle. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my computer's going crazy. Even my computer can't handle it. Oh, it's Zombie. Hey, Zombie. You on film. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. I've got to go see what all this is. Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah, she did spam the spot with flowers. Oh no, I got stuck in a tree. Here, I'll help her out. Let's see if we can get her. I helped. 
<laughs> wow. Oh, man, what does this say? Pig, please go up to the roof. There are some signs there. Lots of love from us all. And let's see. This was a joint effort by Kiri and Becca, and I supervised via TeamSpeak bench. And calling myself zombie feels weird, so make do with Becca. All right, but I'm still going to call you zombie. Um, two piggles, you did good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't eat the pork dinner. <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool. Let's see. And it's by Zombie. Okay, let's see this. Dear Piggy, congrats on your little milestone. Yeah, little. Uh, we're so proud of you and what you've accomplished. And you can now only go up, up, and up. Pigs really can fly. I've left you some gifts as a congratulation to this magical moment. Enjoy your fireworks. Oh, and don't eat too much cake. Your good old server mate, Becca. Gosh, thank you so much. Let's see. I'm going to put that back in there for safekeeping for now. Fireworks. Uh-oh, there's fireworks here. I'm going to have... Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, don't eat too much cake is right. <laughs> oh, man, I bet that sets off fireworks. I'm, I'm going to have to wait till night to see that. Maybe we can end the, the episode with that. I can get my camera count turned on and make sure I look at it from afar, and we'll set off those fireworks. So let's see, what do we got up here? Um, just Ender Pearl. There we go. So there's supposed to be signs up here? Hmm. I don't see the signs. Oh, what, what is that? Huh. I'll have to ask them about that. Maybe they meant to put signs up here, and then, and then it got moved. Or maybe they're talking about this. Maybe this is the 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 quote unquote the sign. It's a sign. <laughs> Gosh, thank you guys. This is so awesome. And I mean, wow, that's cool. It's like the little confetti streamers. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to do today. Now, I was gonna build some stuff, but I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, okay, I'm going to have to collect myself. I'm a little taken aback by this. I'm going to have to collect myself and see if I can find some building blocks because I had planned on working on the iron farm a little bit. Well, okay, so let me take a breather here and get myself focused and we'll come back and we'll start seeing what I can do next, okay? All right, everybody. I decided I would run over here and start gathering up some supplies. I've got my my focus back. We're going to start working on part of the iron farm today. But I figured while I was over here, I would go ahead and do something special for one of my viewers. They had mentioned the name for what this area should be called. Because up until now, see that pig secret area? Yeah, but everybody knows where it is. So it's not much of a secret anymore. So we're just going to pop a sign down here. and We're going to call this from now on. If we can spell it right, Piggy's Plain Sight. <laughs> and that was uh, sent in by Flame Sun. I'm going to put his name there on the screen right now for you. And he said, pun intended. So that cracked me up. I loved it. So I figured I'd go ahead and put it here so everybody could see. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Piggy's Sight is in plain sight. We're going to make our way back over here to the iron farm. Now, I'm not going to do a whole lot of building up in the sky today, which apparently doesn't want to render. Oh, there it goes. Okay. What we're going to do, let me get some ender pearls and get over here a little quicker. What we're going to do is we're going to work on that part right there at the bottom. Kind of like, I guess, what you would call the collection point. It's the spot. Oh, man. I thought for a second I was going to ender pearl right into the lava. Okay. Which, you know, is something I'm known to do. Let me get this off my... <laughs> I know me. I would look at the lava and be talking about it. And I would accidentally click that ender pearl on my, my hot bar and end up in lava on camera. Crispy bacon for y'all and a whole bunch of lost items for me. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, you know, I've got a, an off-camera design that I've created. And I'm going to fix this part right here in the middle. This is where the... Oh my gosh, that is dangerous. Whose brilliant idea was it to leave this open and let a wild pig run around here? 
Okay, we're going to take a step back. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get near that. So anyway, I'm going to build a... Uh, it's going to look... Well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to build it and show you. But basically, this is the collection point where the iron golems fall. They get trapped in the lava. They burn up and die. And they fill up the chests down here. Uh-oh. There were chests down here. Oh, wow. Somebody's been tidying up this place. Nice. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if they finally fixed it where all the, the flowers get thrown in the trash. That'd be great. Because this... Yep, there they are. We've got more flowers. That Actually, we have enough flowers for Bench and... Zom uh, not Zombie. Bench and Kiri both to know what to do with. And we have to get these flowers far, far away from them. We have to save them from themselves. So, oh man. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this for now. Because I do have a plan for a... Uh, like a storage system. That's going to eventually be somewhere right in this space right here. But we'll leave that for now. That's fine. That's going to work. And that's going to keep the system from backing up and me having to worry about it. I can focus on building. So, I'm going to show you what I got in my inventory. Got me some spruce wood. We're going to make some spruce fences. A bunch of random stone so I can make some uh, slabs and stairs. And then some andesite. And I think there's a few more things that I'm going to need. And I'm going to have to sneak over into my quarantined area and gather up those supplies. And we still, seriously, I need to get a hold of Rain and see if we can figure out what's going on. Because his CDC order locking me down in both places, that's rough. That is really rough on a pig. How's he going to build when he's on lockdown? Of course, if you can... Oh, somebody fell in the lava. <laughs> Of course, you can tell with the magic of Ender Pearls. I'm not really on lockdown now, am I? But, okay. So I'm going to get focused. I'm going to get to building. And then I'm going to bring you back and show you what I've got. Alright, everybody. I'm pretty sure this is not what you expected to see. Me in the nether. But, check it out. I did come over here and get some lava buckets. And we're going to make our way back into town and get over by the iron farm. And this will make sense in a minute. Trust me. I, Piggy, whoop. Piggy's glitching through a block is what he's doing. Oh, no. You work with me. <laughs> so, and man, I just, I tell you what. This is, this is so cool to build that, that Bench supervised. I think what he was doing was distracting me. Or making sure I didn't jump over here. Because, uh, because we were, we were all playing on the modded server together. We were all in team speak talking. And I kept noticing that Kiri and Zombie were getting real quiet. So I think Bench was kind of supervising to make sure I didn't sneak over here. But Kiri and Zombie building this for me, I mean, oh, still just blown away. And look, I kind of noticed this a little bit later. Check it out. The pig has wings. <laughs> oh, so he is flying. Oh, man. That just... Gosh, that gets me right in the heart. I love it. But we're going to pop over here. And things have changed a little bit, haven't they? Yep, we kind of got a design going here now. Looks a little bit more clean and organized. It's safe for pigs. We're not going to get, you know, crispy critters in here. Uh-oh. Maybe I should put something here. I don't like how that's open like that. Um, I'll have to go get some blocks from down below. I, down in that little storage area down there where the iron farm is, I dumped a bunch of my junk so that I could make it to the nether and back and not lose stuff. But we got carpets everywhere so that mobs won't spawn, except for in this spot. I think the lava light level is going to be enough for here. Let's check. We'll, we'll hit F3, and it says sky 13, block 13. Okay, that's good. So I think the light level is high enough. Bad guys won't spawn there. But, um, uh-oh. And I'm going to have to get a carpet for that. We don't need a creeper there and blowing everything up. Eventually, this floor is going to be carpeted so bad guys can't spawn in here. Because, see how dark that looks up there? This whole room is going to have that kind of dark feel to it. And here's why. Or not why, but here's what I'm going to do. So that you can see what in the world you're doing when you come in here. We're going to put lava down in these spots. Now, one of the things that I'm really frustrated about how Minecraft works sometimes is your lighting options. 
you only have a couple different different options. Now, yes, I'm like really excited and I'm really thankful that they added the sea lanterns. That's cool. That gives you one more option for lighting. But I'm more talking about like the ability maybe to set a light level from a light or even maybe make light pass through glass blocks. And now you can have colored light. So you could actually be in a room with lights and have glass blocks over it. You know how you can color the, the beams now? Let's see. See how these beams are? Well, if you place the stained glass on top of it, you'll get a different colored beam. It would be really awesome if we could have colored uh, lighting as well. That would be so cool. But when I was messing around in creative mode, I kind of accidentally figured out that if I, uh, if I put lava down, because la lava emits light, okay, and this half slab, like in real life, if that was giving off light, that light would just come pouring out of there. But the way that the game works, it sees this, I don't really know how to describe it, almost if it's, as if it's like half the light or something like that. I don't know. But what I found was that if I used lava to light the room, it gives this really cool, crazy kind of low glow effect to everything. So as I go, as I get the walls built and the floor and all this stuff starts to change, you're going to get to see me actually building with lava. I'm using lava as a building block, and I'm using it as a light source. Well, okay, technically I'm not using it as a as a building block because I'm not building on top of it but I'm using it as part of the build it has a purpose here uh oh just like you have a purpose sir so and I'm gonna figured I'd do a little bit on camera here just before I called it quits um, got me some fence posts here I'm gonna pop up I think I'll show you this one setup and I'll do the rest off camera because it'll get a little tedious watching me do this over and over again but now, the cobble in the roof, that's going to change as well. It's going to be a little tricky because i got to figure out how to break stuff and uh, not get water everywhere. Oh, man, the water's going to wash my carpets away. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that. But I've got, I've got some, uh, what's the white stone? Diorite. I think it's diorite. I've got a design I'm going to do in the ceiling with some diorite. I think that's going to look cool. But with these fences, okay, see how everything's gray? Now, inside the build, a lot of it's going to be gray, but here's a cool little building trick. Um, I like to use solid objects, like see how this has a shape, okay? And the coloring is very similar. Lots of grays. A little bit of texture uh, change between blocks so your eyes don't get bored. But, if it'll work with me, see how we're going to start adding these fence posts? And they add just a little bit of color. They add just a little bit of uh, texture and shape, so they're not solid blocks. They have a little bit more of a shape to them. And see how that looks? And so imagine that all four sides, it really, it, it's like adding the fence posts suddenly made it go from just a cool looking shape to a wow, look at the detail kind of deal. So, and you know what? It might be interesting to try putting like like some of these stone slabs on the bottom of those fence posts. I'll have to try that out too. Hmm. Well, okay, so I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish up this build over here because if I don't get something on top of this block on these three sides, then uh, whenever it's nighttime, if I'm not here, some creeper could spawn and blow everything up because these chunks that I'm in right here, they're always loaded, even if nobody's on the server. So I'm going to fix that up. I'm going to wait for it to get nighttime, and we're going to watch some fireworks. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody. I have let it get nighttime, and I've got some cool people we're going to go meet. Now, I told you all, I think I told you, I can't remember, but if I hadn't, we're just going to go ahead and say it again. Check it out. We got a new server mate. It's Miru. Did I say that right, Miru? Sure. Sure. Evil mech Miru. Sure. sure. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> and then there's Zombie and Kiri. Thank you guys Hi. so much for this. This is cool. I love this. And y'all take some cake. I'm gonna like gain so much weight if I eat all this cake. Please take. That's not please. that much cake. Well, for a pig, that. Well, I know it's <laughs> one meal for a pig, but still, it's a lot of calories. Don't, don't forget your pork dinner. Oh nope. I will. <laughs> I won't forget nope. it. I'm gonna go bury that somewhere in the world. 
and it will be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> just straight nope to you. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna be serious, guys. I I came over here and saw this, and I mean, it took me like five minutes to recover it. You guys are so awesome. You know, we we had built this when you were still like under 15k. So so now I feel like we need to build another one. <laughs> Behind Since it, now you bigger, twenty five hundred, with beacons and and like automated lighting and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need to up our game now. I think I think we need to do that. Yeah, like live show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a band Infinite up there playing. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get a band. You can request songs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Well. Well, they came over because uh, they're going to watch the fireworks with me. We're going to get up there on that mountain or that hill up in the trees. We're going to set off these fireworks. Congrats, Piggles! Yay!